Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a reading update. As I already mentioned in a previous video, I am participating in two read-alongs for the month of April. The first one is for Far From The Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy, which is hosted by Ange from Beyond The Pages. And the second one is Can You Forgive Her by Anthony Trollope, which is hosted by Steve. So I wanted to do a little update about the read-alongs. I have not made a lot of progress with Far From The Madding Crowd. I have only read 50 pages. But it is a short book, so I think I can manage to finish it uh, by the end of the month. I want to talk about Can You Forgive Her by Anthony Trollope, which I am reading and loving so far. Can You Forgive Her by Anthony Trollope is the first book in the Palliser series, which is a series of six or seven books, I think. Anthony Trollope was a Victorian author who wrote almost 47 books and I have only read one of his books which was The Way We Live Now and I loved that book. I am 70% done with this book. I am on chapter 58. I always thought I would read the Chronicles of Barsetshire series first but when I heard about this read along I decided to jump in because I already had the book. I read a couple of chapters on audiobook and a couple of chapters on paperback depending on where I am. If I'm at home, I usually pick up the book and if I'm at work, then I use the audiobook. Can You Forgive Her is the story about Alice Vavasor who is engaged to be married to John Gray. By blood, she was connected with big people, distantly connected with some very big people indeed. But of these very big relations, she had known and seen little, and they had cared as little for her. Alice's fiancé, Mr. Gray, was a man of high character, of good though moderate means. He was too well-educated, of good worth, a gentleman, and a man of talent. No one could deny that the marriage would be highly respectable. Now, there's nothing wrong with John Gray, but Alice is not happy with this engagement. She thinks that John Gray is boring and she was previously engaged to her cousin who is George Vavasor. Now this cousin George Vavasor is into politics. He has a scar on his face and that scar brightens up when he's angry. So basically he is a he's a bad guy of the story and John Gray is the good guy of the story. But I can see why Alice is bored of his fiance. Now George Vavasor has a sister. Kate Vavasor, who is also cousins with Alice, and the three cousins take a trip to some place, I don't know where they go. When she comes back from the vacation, Alice decides to break off her engagement with John Gray, and she tells him that she does not think that they are going to be happy together. Later on, George writes a letter to Alice, and he asks her to marry him. In the letter, which I found very weird, George straight on tells Alice that he wants her money and then he proposes to her and Alice accepts it. I don't understand why. I mean, that was a pretty lame-ass letter which he wrote, um, but she says yes. Kate Vavasor very much wants Alice and her brother to be engaged and to be married because she thinks that her brother is a little wild and Alice might tame her and they are going to make a perfect match. So she is very happy when she hears of this engagement. Kate goes to live with her aunt, Mrs. Greenow, and we are introduced to the second plot line. She's recently widowed only six months back. Her husband died, but he was very rich, and now Mrs. Greenow has inherited all his money, and she is rich as well. She takes Kate to a seaside resort, and there they meet two gentlemen. The first one is a captain in the army, and the second one is a farmer who is called Mr. Cheeseacre. Now, both these men are interested in Mrs. Greenow because she is not a very old woman. She is widowed, but she has her charms. And Mrs. Greenow wants Kate to marry Mr. Cheeseacre, who is the ugly, fat farmer. Mrs. Greenow is basically leading on both the men. She's enjoying her time. She's basically playing with their feelings. Then we have this Third, a woman who is also a very rich lady and she's called Lady Glencora. She likes this guy, Burgo Fitzgerald. Burgo Fitzgerald is well connected, but he's not the most smart person in the world. Lady Glencora is proposed to by Mr. Palliser um, as the name of the series is the Palliser series. So you can see where that comes from. And Mr. Palliser is a very strict man he is a politician he's very different from lady glencora but they end up getting married because lady glencora is forced to do so by her rich relatives who advise her against marrying burgo fitzgerald the story is 
basically a Victorian soap drama and so much is happening. These are the three plot lines which are going on in this novel. My favorite character so far is Alice Vavasor. And basically the title of the book is Can You Forgive Her? Trollope is asking us if we forgive Alice Vavasor for first getting engaged to one guy, then to the second guy, then breaking it off with the first guy. I think I can understand Alice Vavasor. She's confused. She's a woman living in the Victorian era. She has nothing better to do but to invest her money in something. And that is the reason, I think, why she says yes to George Vavasor because she thinks that if she cannot be a politician herself, she can live through him. I also like Kate. I love how she cares for her brother, uh, but she gets treated so badly in the end and I hope she finds someone because there's no guy for her at the moment in the book and I'm like 70% done with the story already. The characters which I do not like are George Vavasor. He is so selfish and mean and angry all the time. I'm not a huge fan of Lady Glencora as well. She's just not good enough for Mr. Palliser because he deserves better I think and I think I'm making very healthy progress with this book. I'm reading three chapters per day and I think I'm going to finish this book in time. I'm going to do a wrap up of this book by the end of the month, hopefully. So stay tuned for that. And I'm going to see you all in my next video very, very soon. Bye.